In celebration of the last day of my red hair, y'all, I'm about to wash it tonight. I hope y'all love my red hair as much as I did. Um, those of you who know me well know that I'm in the military and I don't get the luxury of being able to color my hair, haven't for the last two decades been able to really play in my hair. So I've taken a long leave, which was um, long overdue, much appreciated. I colored my hair and I've been rocking the hell out of it. I love it. I just feel so vibrant, so sexy. It is my thing. Okay. Anyway, so in celebration of the last day of my red hair, I want to talk about the red flag hashtag that has been going around. For those of you unaware and not on the gram and, and all over social media, the red flag hashtag um, it's been the symbol of a red flag and it's basically someone saying when there's a danger point someone said something that's like a line they don't cross um, for those of you uh, my age or older or maybe a little younger if you remember the movie ghost back in the 80s with Patrick Swayze Whoopi Goldberg Demi Moore and Whoopi was telling Demi she said Molly, Molly you, you in danger, danger girl, girl. Like that is what this red flag is, right? So people people have been posting what their red flags are. So in honor of that, I wanted to go over to my top three financial red flags and why they're my they're red flags. Have you always wanted to try out a course in a black business school, but you didn't have the money, you didn't have the time, you didn't have the incentive? Well, I'm giving it to you now. Use my code, head over to my IG at The Real Teddy Talks, or head over to my website, therealteddytalks.com, to use my special link to the black business school and get access, discounted access, plus a two week free trial to the courses on the black business school. I assure you, you'll be a lifetime member and you won't regret it. Go there now. The first one is when someone says, I don't have any money to invest. That is a serious red flag for me because it tells me that that person doesn't have a high financial IQ and they need to work towards improving that. If that person is you, there are too many resources out there for you to use, free and paid. You can get on YouTube, search away. Buy you some books, you can't see it on my screen right now. There are several books you can buy that tell you how to invest. People who want to see you succeed, like myself, who have created courses that tell you how to invest in cryptocurrency, for instance. But there's just so much information out there to get and to learn how to invest, and you can start with a dollar. $2, $3, many things you can invest in with, with little bits of money. Crypto, definitely little bits of money. In the stock market, it has to be whatever the stock price is on most platforms, 99% of the platforms. But when you're investing in um, like a money market or just, I hate to say saving, because saving isn't investing, but even saving your money, it can be in any denomination, any increment. So you do have enough money to invest. Don't tell yourself those lies, okay? That's one of my red flags. The second red flag is, I can't afford to buy Bitcoin. Lies, okay, lies. Everyone can afford to buy Bitcoin. You can buy a dollar worth of Bitcoin. You can buy $5 worth of Bitcoin. You can buy $50 of Bitcoin. You can buy $5 of Bitcoin every single day, $10. It doesn't matter. Like in cryptocurrency, you can buy a piece, parcel, or portion of cryptocurrency, all of them all of them and you can do it 24 7. the market does not open the market does not close it's always there so don't tell yourself you cannot afford to buy bitcoin or any of the other cryptocurrencies back in 2017 early 2017 when i bought my first bitcoin it was a thousand dollars and it seemed expensive to me then okay <laughs> today it hit or yesterday it hit sixty thousand dollars per bitcoin I hope I said that slow enough for you because I know I'm a fast talker. $60,000 per Bitcoin when it was a thousand almost five years ago. A thousand dollars per Bitcoin. So you have enough money to do it. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Put your five dollars a day. Go to Swan Bitcoin. Put five dollars a day into Bitcoin. Buy it until it accumulates to something that's worthwhile. I strongly believe in this bull run Bitcoin could easily hit $100,000. It's at $60,000 right now today. So take it or leave it. Uh, 
There goes my disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. I am not your financial advisor. My background is in finance, master's degrees and all that, but I am not your financial advisor. Everything I say is for educational purposes based upon my own belief system. If you're looking for a financial advisor, officially, I am not it. Go find them, do that thing. Back to what I was saying, okay? So you can afford to buy Bitcoin. There's too many resources out there to help you buy Bitcoin. Um, do that thing. Don't use that as an excuse. If you don't want to buy Bitcoin, say, I don't want to buy Bitcoin. <laughs> don't say, I can't afford to buy Bitcoin. All right, my third and final red flag. I can't afford to travel. As someone who lives in Egypt, I've lived in Qatar in the Middle East, Egypt. I visited all over the world, lived in Japan. Now, granted, that was as a consequence of my job. My job took me there, sent me there, brought my stuff, brought my family, all that. Got it, okay? But on my own dime, I traveled all over the world. Thailand, Belize, Mexico, Jamaica, Bahamas, Australia. I mean, I've done a lot, done a lot of traveling just in the Maldives, okay? I'm gonna stop talking about it, right? <laughs> But I've been all over and it was because I put aside the funds to get me there. I set a goal for myself and I said, I love traveling and I'm going to do that thing. And I like things at a certain standard, so I know I need to put a little extra money, maybe more than other people who like to stay in hostels or stay in rooms with their friends or whatever the case may be. That ain't me, but it's for some people. But you have to set the standard for what you wanna do and how you want to live. And if you wanna live your life traveling, there are so many Facebook groups out there that help you travel cheap. There are so many people out there that are telling you, stay at this hotel, don't stay at this hotel. Use this airline, don't use this airline. I've even seen people post agencies out there that let you pay as you go on these vacations. So you can split your payment up to pay for your plane ticket and your hotel and your expenses to travel. So the only thing keeping you from traveling is you. You should see the world. You need to see the world. You need to know that there are other things out there that are bigger than your hometown or the city that you live in. And all it requires is the commitment by you and potentially a passport. So you need to get your passport too. So these are my call to actions, okay? Start investing. Buy a little teeny, 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 like my son says, a little teeny, little teeny bit of brownie. Get a little teeny bit about, teeny bit of Bitcoin. Buy it now, today, if that's what you wanna do, because I'm not your financial advisor. And get yourself a passport. Even if you ain't ready to travel globally, um, I'm not even gonna say start small. I'm gonna say get your passport so you have it when the opportunity presents itself. All right, tell me in the comments, what is your red flag? What is the line drawn for you? You hear somebody say something crazy and you like, hold on, hold on, hold on. How you know that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Them's not truths, okay? <laughs> Whatever it is for you, let me know in the comments. That's all I got for you. Invest in yourself 1% a day to reach your exponential greatness. This is Teddy Ewing. Say bye to my red hair, y'all. This is Teddy Ewing signing off.